Welcome to our autumn tour. Our first campsite is Mount Nimrod, a quiet campsite on the eastern flanks of the Hunter Hills. There is a 3.5 km forest walk through the Padukar forest remnants. After we leave Mount Nimrod, we scoot the edges of the Hunter Hills in the direction of Waimati. On our way, we turn right and drive up Mount Studholm. It offers high altitude views over the oceans as well as the surrounding mountain ranges. Next, we connect with Meyers Pass with its high altitude views as we twist and wind our way over the pass. With our final destination, Dancy's Pass Holiday Park, where we spend the night. My name is Marcus Wyatt. Join me as I share my passion for four-wheel drives and travelling to the remotest parts of New Zealand. If you enjoy these videos, please support me by buying me a coffee on Patreon. Join the Explore Track New Zealand team now. The boys and I had a wonderful night at Mount Nimrod. We threw some lamb chops on the barbie and after dinner the boys were busting to roast some marshmallows on the fire. We camped right next to the Nimrod stream with the dulcet tones of the stream carrying you off to sleep. The next morning I was awoken by an orchestra of bird song. I decided to get up and capture the sound. The last time I've experienced this much bird calling and singing was back in Africa. This is just amazing. After breakfast, I marched the troops off to the 3 km walk. The forest is thick and the trail is very steep. I can see why they estimate the walk to take 2 hours. We ran out of time, so had to turn back. But I will be back and this time allow for more time at Mount Nimrod. Mount Studholm is in the southern parts of the Hunter Hills, 15 km northwest of Waimati. The road starts out very easy, grade 2 I would say. But soon the road becomes steep and quite a challenge. There is also steep drop offs, so care should be taken. We had quite a good time while we were driving up. The boys and I guessed how high we would get, with Lincoln getting the closest with 1200 meters. We eventually reached 1060 meters. The views from the top is just spectacular. In the beginning, before the clouds rolled in, which happened swiftly, you could see Banks Peninsula in the distance. Towards the south, you saw Kakanui and Mary's Range. Mount Stenham Road is a great addition if you're passing by the area of Waimati. Now we connect with Mayer's Pass. I've done this route previously in December 2019. Otago was hit with a 100 year storm and Dancy's Pass Holiday Park were completely flooded out and had to cancel our bookings. On that trip, we were five vehicles. Just before leaving Waimati, the weather looked grim in the direction we were traveling. Two of the vehicles decided to just drive the tarmac road and bypass Mayer's Pass. As one driver said, it doesn't feel like mud groveling. As the story goes, we set off and not far out of Waimati, we encountered some rain. The Mayer's Pass group turned off the tarmac road and went searching for the pass. 
The remaining two vehicles continued on the tarmac road. The group reunited at the end of that day, just to hear stories of deep water crossings covering the main route. The Waitaki River burst its banks and flooded the main 82 route. Just after they have gone through, the road was closed due to a sinkhole developing in the road. And how much mud groveling did we encounter? None! We had an easy run through Mayer's Pass without a drop of rain or a mud hole to ride home about. And now on to our final destination, Dancy's Pass Holiday Park. In late 1850s, William Dancy extensively explored the rugged mountains inland from Umaru, including a pass through the hills from the Waitaki Valley to Ranfurli and central Otago. Today, Dancy's Pass is best known for the Dancy's Pass Holiday Park, a peaceful rural camping ground nestled beside the Maria Fanoa River. The campsite is set up as a family-friendly campsite with ample play area for the kids and a heart-pounding rope swing if your child loves a bit of adrenaline. Dogs are welcome, as you can see. That brings us to the end of this episode. Tune in next week for more adventures.